Hello everyone, thank, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Nike here. New piece that I got in from eBogu. Uh, that's the vendor. Uh, I'm guessing the PP is for practice polymer or polypropylene. Uh, Hamon L plus Saya. And that's what we have here. I don't normally train uh, with katanas too often. Once in a while, I will do some on the channel. Um, here's the wrap job, by the way. But I found this piece and thought it'd be a great one to add. There you have it. This one is definitely lighter than uh, most of your bokens are going to be. Most training bokens or training katana. Um, what I love about these pieces, and again, I'm not really sure who's making them. I believe it's Blades USA. There we go. Get a little bit of better focus there. But I love the design that they put into, you know, on these, the detail that they put into these designs. I mean, look at that. For just a plastic sword, that really isn't bad. It even has a little, you know, fuller on it all the way up to the top. Um, this one's one of the few that I've gotten in that actually come rounded already. Most of them are pretty pointy, especially those cold steels. Um, here is... Oh, let's lean that there so it doesn't fall. Here is the ring guard Suba. Nice little dragon on it. I'm going to slide that on here in a second. And then it just comes with a little rubber nylon uh, ring retain retainer. Um... The main thing I like about this one is that it comes with a saya, or a scabbard, I guess you could call it, which um, I haven't seen any of them that do before. Mind you, you know, as far as Balkans are concerned, I have uh, only a few. I have the uh, cold steel, two of the cold steels. Actually, let's see, it looks like I missed something. That's a common, common symbol that I found. I found that, that mark, let me see if I can get that better in focus there i found this mark on um there we go found this mark on a few of the other uh polymer training swords that i've gotten in and look at the texture on that the texturing it almost looks like a like a lacquering design um anyhow i um you know really wanted one that could come with its own uh sheath or scabbard, I guess you could say, would be more accurate. Well, saya is the correct term. Um, and, you know, I haven't seen any that did. Um, I have the cold steels. I have a few of the cold steel training bokens, old boken, standard boken. Um, and uh, I was thinking of getting the honshu to, just to try it out, the tactical one. That has a very, very small guard. Um, none of them come with a saya. So I think it would be pretty cool to track this, practice some uh, draw cuts in a sparring scenario. Anyhow, let me get that retaining ring on so you can see it, and then we'll put it in, put the sword in the Saya. So there's the training sword put together. Um, this thing is very light. Uh, one of the things I don't like about uh, the retaining ring in that style is they have a tendency to slip and come off. Um, and, and, you know, I don't trust the rubber not breaking. But anyhow, there's the sword in all its glory training sword or, or boken let me go ahead and get it in the saya and that's actually pretty cool if that's just about perfectly you would have to kind of push a little bit firmly to get it you know to where you could really draw it but it fits in there nice and snug i can turn this thing upside down and it will not fall out um you know it, i think this thing actually looks awesome this would be a great piece just to keep as a decorative piece you know katanas are just so beautiful by nature of their design um you know and then this thing almost looks like a real sword you wouldn't expect it to be plastic um i, I really enjoy this piece this was very inexpensive only uh set me back for 40 bucks so uh you know i would definitely recommend it just for the looks alone um it's very lightweight um so you know against some of the stiffer polymer weapons they may have some advantage, but I think it would actually run really well with uh, some of the nylon swords that we use. Anyways, uh, that's the new piece. Uh, thanks for watching. Nike here.